and welcome to another episode of Fizzer Friday. I mean, what's going on guys? Happy Friday, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of Fizzer Friday. Today, we are going to continue, uh, to totally unrelated to the vlog, but, or, or, or sort of, I don't know. Um, today we're going to continue getting footage for our aerial series. I'm kind of thinking out loud here, I'm sorry. Let's try this. Let's try this. We gotta be careful, boys and girls. Um, because of Class D airspace. Anyways, we'll sort it out. I did a little bit of pre-flight research and uh, I think we're in the right spot. So anyways, um, my little Waco Aerials series. Yeah, it's one of my favorites going to get a little bit of drone footage of uh, Brazos Park East is what we're shooting for today. In particular, we're shooting for the cliff face. And uh, like I said, man, doing my, uh, my little bit of research here, it, here's the problem. How am I supposed to get around the other side of that fence? Maybe we should go back. Yeah, maybe we should go back. So, anyways, right down there is where the Brazos and the Bosque, the two rivers, they, they fork. And at that fork is the intersection of Class D airspace for Waco Regional Airport and TSTC Airport. And so, you got to be careful. Over here, right over here where I need to get my footage, though, is outside that airspace. And I'll show you guys that here in a second on the, uh, the Aloft app, which is what I use for... Uh, for drone flight plenty. Yep, this looks like it might be more better. Man, you don't realize just how loud this freaking bike is until you shut it off and realize that it's like dead quiet where you are. <laughs> That's crazy. Something else I just realized is that the lighting is going to be less than ideal because the sun is acting as a backlight to the cliff faces. Ideally, you would want the sun behind you illuminating the cliff faces. I don't know. Maybe we can just get some practice flight in then. And uh, I don't know. If anything, it'll be like a, a sneak preview for you guys to, to get an idea of what it is I'm going for. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And by the way, I've... Uh, I've mentioned it several times before, but if you guys don't already follow me on Insta, you really should. Because if you did, you would already know about this fun little mod that I did on my DJI Mini SE. Yeah. Behold. How sick is this? iStyles.com. Go check him out, man. Obviously, this is a custom job. Uh, you can get on there and design whatever you want. Yes. Yes. Again, follow me on Instagram, and you'd already know about this awesome stuff right here, dude. Is that not sick, man? Is that not just totally awesomely custom i'm very impressed with the way this came out and the the form and fitment of the vinyl wrap is just bar none you know what i mean that is just too freaking cool guys i'm really happy with that this is actually the uh the first time i've looked at the final product outside um i also opted for that little emblem right there that's master air screw uh they make custom high performance uh hobby propellers and this is their uh, their stealth line for the DJI products. Uh, these produce quieter decibel as well as enhanced performance. So you get a little bit of extra flight time, a little bit better sport performance mode. And uh, I think they're like 27 or 30 decibels quieter than factory. So uh, she should be a little less buzzy now, uh, as if that really matters. But, you know, anyways... Drop a comment down below if you think that is as sick as I do. 
again, I, I'm really happy with the result here, guys. This is just cool. Anyways, uh, at iStyles.com, they also have um, all sorts of pre-made kits where you can, uh, you can. I mean, it, it's really hard to describe just how many kits these guys have. You need to go check it out, man. Carbon fiber looks, different camouflage looks, all sort of little fighter plane themes. You name it, dude. Uh, they've got all sorts of stuff on there to choose from. But anyways, let's go get her in the air and have a look-see. And so anyways, here's the Loft app. This is what I was telling you guys about. Um, so if you're in any class airspace, like there's class D for Waco Regional, class D for TSTC, you see we're right here, right outside the boundary of that uh, restricted airspace. There's the fork of the Brazos and the Bosque. So we're good. That yellow, that yellow airspace is for uh, Baylor University Stadium. Uh, McLean Stadium. So anytime you have some special events going on there, you know, like a football game, for example, um, that becomes restricted airspace, but it's a Friday afternoon, football season's over with, we're good to go. And we're off. It is quieter. That's crazy. Very cool. She's so stable too. Something like that. Oh, yes. Tell you what, man. These things are just too much fun. And the affordability of this SE. I mean, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence about picking up a drone, you know, you ought to. <laughs> just too cool. Just like that. But I really do think that the uh, the lighting was totally off. You guys probably saw that. I, I could see it on, on the viewfinder there on the cell phone. Um, that there was a lot of glare. You know, just time of day and that sun is killer. It's going to have to be like a, a morning thing, right? Sun on that side, illuminating the cliffs. Oh man, that'd be beautiful. Be some great shots. Anyways, man, dang, I was so excited about getting the drone shots that uh, I totally forgot about what I was going to mention for this vlog. Um, so, if you watched last Fraser Friday, you know that I was really touting that Barnett clutch kit. That's the kit I'm going to get to uh, to rebuild Evelyn's clutch. And so, anyways, I had posted up a screenshot of uh, of that eBay auction or whatever. And dude, the things were what was it, $169.99? They were $170. Bucks. Now they're almost sold out and they're 20 bucks more. Now they're $190. So hey, go ahead. If you've made it this far in the vlog, drop a comment down below, man. Are you one of the guys that uh went after one of those clutch kits? What is that all about? And surely that's that's not coincidence, right? Uh I uh I dropped that that awesome price on that uh on that clutch kit and then all of a sudden i go back a couple days later and check it out and they're dang near sold out was that you and you and you and you and you <laughs> hey maybe i should uh shoot the guy a message on ebay 
and be like, you know, hey, you're welcome. Where's my free kit, right? <laughs> but anyways, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button, smash the subscribe, and the different things, and the bell, and the notified. And as always, it's been me, and that's been you, Cycle Cup. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace and goodbye.